I think Four Star Dave really started to become a fan favorite in Saratoga the third year he won up here as a four-year-old. He started getting that moniker like horse for a course, Saratoga horse. And then by the fourth year, Four Star Dave mania was starting to take place. I mean, people who were starting with t-shirts and hats and it just kept going. I mean, fifth year and people were going, well, how many horses run five years in a row in Saratoga, let alone win? And uh, hard to imagine that he would ultimately win eight years in a row up here. The thing about him too, besides the fact that he would win every year in Saratoga, was he was very charismatic and people would go to take pictures of him, he'd actually stop and pose. And he kind of really thrived on the attention. The 93 Saratoga meet was bittersweet. He got his win in Saratoga, keep the streak alive. And then he got taken down and to me was one of the top five worst DQs I've ever seen, let alone been a part of. Four Star Dave was disqualified from first. Um, he shifted out a half a path when I went to go to my left-handed whip and we barely brushed with a horse that wound up, I think, fifth. In one stride, it was back in my right hand and I had him corrected. And then on top of that, the horse fell down at the break uh, of the race. I mean, he, I was off of him. I don't know how, somehow with his head, he kind of put me back in the saddle. His, his last win in Saratoga in 94 um, was the most pressure I ever felt riding him. Maybe the only time I ever felt pressure riding him. The only way I thought he could lose is if I made a mistake. Migliori makes his move with the old boy. There goes Four Star Dave and he sweeps to a short lead. But uh, I felt the weight of Saratoga anyway on my shoulders that day. Four Star Dave is one fellow away from eight years worth of Saratoga victories. Here's the old boy coming down to the line. He's making a runaway of it. The legend lives on. Four Star Dave wins again at the spot. He delivered, uh, you know, just a tremendous performance. And I remember I started, you know, patting on him and, and telling him what a good guy he was, what a good boy. And the crowd was amazing that day. They, they just went bonkers when we turned for home. Normally, as a jockey, you don't hear the crowd. And that day, I heard Saratoga react to Four Star Dave. The day um, Dave got injured up here, he was chasing War and, and um, Paradise Creek, two, you know, world-class turf horses. And he was beaten about seven lengths that day, and, and the outpouring of affection from the crowd, from the people of Saratoga, was pretty eye-opening. And I think, to me, that showed more than ever just how much he had gotten into people's hearts. They had a great retirement ceremony for Dave. They named the street by Ciro's after him, Four Star Dave Way. Um, the mayor of the city gave him the key to the city, albeit it was a big oatmeal cookie key. Like, um, and I got on him over there at Ciro's and, and it was a really fun celebration and a, another way for people to basically say thank you to Dave for all he had given them over the years. You can come to Saratoga in the off season. It could be October, November. Go to his gravesite at Clare Court and people leave tributes to him. Flowers or a bobblehead. There's always some moment though of his success up here and um, I, I just think it's great that it lives on how many years later.